and gas. Seatbelts, everyone! <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to... Not an April Fool's Let's Play! Nope, this is good enough on its own. It's Magic School Bus Explores the Solar System. And we get this amazing animated opening with the theme song. That was definitely uh, made for the computer at the time and not, <laughs> not taken directly from the show. <laughs> I kind of appreciate that, actually. Yeah. We got all our favorite characters, like Arnold, Tim. Was Tim, Tim anybody's favorite? Yeah, Tim was cool. He did art. And, like, that was pretty much all about his character. Yeah. And then Wanda. Wanda. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? That was her. It was Ralphie. that Wanda? Yeah, she would always say that. Daphne. She always called people wimps. School, we would never... The Daphne? <laughs> that was Daphne. The Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe Frick. <laughs> Daphne is from... <laughs> Sorry, Phoebe. <laughs> Daphne is from the Scooby-Doo sh yeah. <laughs> shows. Carlos would say dumb puns. Great puns. And then, uh... And Liz. DA According to my research... Here we are at school. And then Liz was just a learning class. There's Miss Frizzle. Me and herself. <laughs> Oh, but the weirdest... Uh-oh. <laughs> That's the <laughs> most weirdest part of this. What a ride. Liz talks. Yeah, Liz talking is still weird to me. Listen, with the frizz around, things happen that couldn't happen in a million years. Like that. Or not. But I'm sure you can tell the difference between what's real and what's not. You'd be surprised nowadays. And see what happens. And if you need help... Click on me. Liz, that's what I'm here for. How about we click on Miss Frizzle? She's the teacher. Everybody ready? I don't that's think that was not, not Lily Tomlin. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody ready? Everybody ready? <laughs> and here we are at school. We got the great magic school bus oh, characters. Oh, Keisha, Keisha Keisha was like a ballet. I thought oh, Keisha was the one who would get, went, what are we going to do? No, that was Wanda. Oh, no, she, she Keisha's the one who goes, this is bad, bad, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my permission slip. And then, uh... Yeah. Ralphie Ralphie's was, like, great. the quintessential, like, goofy class clown. Ralphie was, like, simultaneously the nerd and the jock, which was weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, DA was the real nerd. Well, okay. Yeah, I guess. It is really raining, huh? Well, wow. Wow. it's I raining on that. Earth, but we're not going to be on Earth for very long. And then there's freaking uh, Cousin. Oh, Janet. Janet. Oh, Janet's the worst. Aren't you guys ready yet? <laughs> Perfect timing. The freaking garage door. <laughs> Aren't you guys ready yet? <laughs> we pull out of the garage. We're ready, Janet. Oh boy. She was actually saying that to the my neighbors. True. True. Aren't you ready to open the garage? Door? So I guess we're heading off to the planetarium today. I'm not. Nope. They're gonna open the garage totally door again. Totally normal. They opened it. They're gonna close it soon. True. They they like doing that. We can we can sit in. Uh, what's in Arnold's uh, lunchbox? I'm not doing anything not until doing the, anything? I'm not doing anything until they close the garage door again. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I guess fun story then while we're waiting for them to shut the garage door. I had a science class that I helped teach in high school and for Halloween I dressed up as Miss Frizzle. And that was very cool. I had like a musical note dress. Did um, you dye your hair orange? Well no, but Then were you really Miss Frizzle? Did you I make your hair cool, frizzy? I had the cool outfit. I put my hair up. Listen, my hair is crazy straight. I can't do anything to it. Um, but yeah. And meanwhile, Carlos just is doing his yo-yo. Why is it like glitching back and forth? Do you? Oh, now it's going down. <laughs> it was glitching in his hand. Like. Tch, tch, tch. He's just. Oh, yeah, you're right. Really Isn't it weird? I like how Phoebe's just staring off into space. I love like, the 10 second piano loop <laughs> as well. Yeah, I was going to mention like. It's very short, but also good. Maybe they just left, Artie. If no, then we would have heard it twice. No, because they opened it before um, we started recording. So maybe it's been open the whole time, and then they were like, oh shoot, it's raining, we better close it. You know as soon as we get back to actually <laughs> recording again, they are going to close the garage door. Yeah, I know, but we're just going to be sitting here forever. <laughs> Whatever. Just hit the lunchbox. ready yet? <laughs> Were you trying to bait them? <laughs> Janet's like, aren't you ready to start the Let's Play yet? Carlos is going ham on his yo-yo. Phoebe is going way hammer on her yo-yo. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. You I mean, know. I'm. <laughs> there you See? Go. There I, you told go. You. I told you. I told you. I told you. 
<laughs> okay, well now we're gonna- Why did it take so long? That's my real- We are question. getting our mail. A telescope! I thought it was gonna crash. Uh, uh... It cut the music out just for that. There's no more music anymore! Yeah, the aliens took over. What? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't know about- I didn't know about this. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, you can learn about the the planets and stuff. But we do that for the whole game, though. You can learn even more. That is not any planet that I know. That's the Death Star. With a... Okay. How do you get out? What is this? This is like one of those Chuck E. Cheese disco balls. A little bit, yeah. Back to Earth, please. Okay, well, that was... People are going to be like... Oh. Why are they doing stupid? Do just just play? play the side scrolling parts. Yeah, there's a the music's just gone. Yeah. What Hopefully. the heck? The telescope wiped all music. What if we hit it again? Hopefully the music comes back when we like you know go to the planetarium. You know, let's just restart. And we can way restart. We, and that way we can cut we can cut out all the stupid garage door opening. Yes, mm. we want to quit. But I had the funny story about the, the... Well, maybe I'll put that in as the credit stainer. Okay, cool. Seat belt! Oh, oh whoa. Class. Seat belt! Way to belt out that line. <laughs> I thought it was gonna ramp up and then it's you skipped it. There's the so, piano Wow. Music. Yay, the music's back. And then we got all the students here. So, Tim, what are you gonna do? What? Just drawing a stick what figure that... Door? We've never clicked on dancing. the door. Oh, the door? Oh, I mean, the my door is just like that. Feed the fish. She, the, hang on, hang on. Watch the fish. It freaks out oh. before she even puts the food in. That's really funny. Also, where is uh freaking Wanda's fabulous pet frog? In one episode Bella. of the TV show? <laughs> the, li Bella. Literally just in one episode. Wow, there was a he frog did. ate the whole lunch. Well, maybe it was a couple. It was a whole family of frogs. Oh wow, Arnold, you got to do something about the frogs in your lunchbox. What the heck, Arnold? How many are there in there? Oh, there's That's... a few. I found them in the pond and put them in my lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> they collectively all ate Arnold's lunch. And Miss Frizzle's not concerned in the slightest. Uh... I love how they have the fishbowl right next to an outlet plug. That's yeah, that's a good idea. Miss Frizzle, so. what do you have to say about all of this? Miss Frizzle? Did we just crash the game? Miss Frizzle? Prepare for blast off! But the music! The music cut out again! That's We're bad. spending too long on the actual menu. They're like, nobody spends more than two seconds. Click around! There's plenty to see! Oh! The Music's back! Liz, fix the music! Thank you, Liz, you are the real one. Come on, let's go on the school bus. That's what, that's why. whenever Janet talks, I just hear this. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Janet, get in the bus. Come on, we're going to the planetarium. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Total super promise. We'll look at this 3D. Where are we going anyway? Beautiful. To the planetarium. 90s. We watch what, film when is this from? Okay, the 90s. You're this is, is this their first field trip in the Magic School Bus? Why are they freaking out so much otherwise? I think it is. Well, that's the... It was the pilot episode, yeah. yeah. Wow! They act like they're going on, uh, Velocicosis. <laughs> this isn't the planetarium. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Captain still, Obvious. This is still one of my favorite lines. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. Oh no, Miss Frizzle dropped her wallet filled with Miss Frizzle coins. <laughs> yeah, she got those across time. Well, I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, where's the phrase? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? See, it's Wanda. It sounded more like Dorothy Ann. Mm -mm. It's beautiful out here. Come and find me. Just play the games on the planets and moons and win tokens. With each token you find, I'll give you a clue. But you only get three. If you think you figured out where I am, use the frisk finder to call me. If it's closed, Another token to open it. See you soon on some planet or moon. 
So we we got hit by a meteor. Only Miss Frizzle. Either she only she got kicked out, or she's mm-hmm. like, I'm gonna have checked out now. She's like, my money. And then like light speeded to a different planet. Because right now we're just she in just outer space. Off. Yeah, we're in outer space. I love I love this hub though. It's great. Uh, you can turn off the lights. Oh, if you okay. Want. How about we uh? Um, Click on the planet picker <laughs> or the steering wheel uh, what to choose the happened? planet you want to visit. Want to see a report? Uh, choose one by clicking on the monitor buttons. Then just click on a picture to see a report. To call the ever-loving Ms. Frizzle, just click on the Frizz Finder. To get out of the bus when it lands somewhere, oh. click on the door. You're click right. on the door before they walk into space. Clues, but spot another token? Just There's a the goldfish in, in this spaceship. Start the frizz finder. Don't if forget. If you don't already have three clues, grab a token when you see one. Then you can stick it in the slot to get another clue. Okay, I get it. Shut up. We can't open the door. We're in space. You we can't to... walk in pick, space. Pick the... Use we the have space suits. Picker to choose a yeah, she went into space. First. Mercury, Venus. Wow, Venus Earth, looks exactly like Earth. The moon. We should go to Mars. The... We should go back Jupiter. to Earth. Saturn. <laughs> just give up immediately. Yeah, let's just, just like, go oh. back to Earth. It's an option. It is an option. Yeah, let's go back to let's Earth. Let's go. Go. Miss Russell's like, you're giving up immediately? What the heck? <laughs> F. I'll be honest. I only hit go like three times oh. while playing this. I love the stock sounds. Yeah, from like... I was about to be like, wow, they were in Africa! <laughs> uh, that, yes. is, that is not where their school is located. <laughs> and then you can get out. So if we get out, is Miss Frizzle going to be back you in the classroom? Up so soon. Oh, nope. You still haven't found the I mean, I thought <laughs> you, you could if get Miss, out without her. If Miss, okay, if Miss Frizzle is in space, can we literally just ditch her there <laughs> and be like, well, we're going home? <laughs> can we leave the so. Frizz for dead? <laughs> I she guess doesn't so. have any way of getting back without the magic school bus. I mean, no, she's, we're not. She's, we're not. We're not doing that. Yeah. What? Have you never used the radio? I'm Newt Know It All with today's MSB no. update. Tension builds on the dark side of the moon as the great lunar cheese strike goes into its 16th day. Alien protesters are chanting, please, please, don't buy moon cheese. Sources say in negotiations. Okay, nobody cares. Yeah. All right, well, we could what? go in order of the planets, but I think the moon is closest. Okay. So let's, let's go. Wow, we're going to hit go. We are gonna, we're going to hit go on all the planets. Oh, wow. We'll have to show them the quick travel option oh, yeah, we later. Because that's what I always used and didn't realize you could hit the go button. Oh, I didn't know you could do the quick travel till fairly recently. Oh, no, that was the one I did as a kid. Oh. Man, imagine we have, we, oh, have people, we know people who were alive when that happened. Yeah. Definitely not me. I love the graphics for the moon. Why is it every old computer game that features the moon has, like, beautiful graphics? Because that's, like, the one thing that, like... I feel like every nerd is, like, obsessed with space. That's In true. In some aspect. Like, maybe not to go, but, like, mm-hmm. they think it's cool. Let's get out. That is a weird door. It's an There's... airlock. I know, it's still weird. Okay, this is the bulk bop, part of the game. Bop, 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 bop. We go to the planets and we can talk to the kids. Yeah. Well, he brought a giant fork. Hey, this isn't green cheese. Ralphie well, literally brought that from Earth. Just like, I'm sh- He thought we were going to the planetarium. Yeah. <laughs> I heard there's an all-you-can-eat buffet at the planetarium. <laughs> That's true. What's Tim going to do? Uh, Check this out. Earth is just beautiful from... Here. Tim? I'm trying to figure out what the heck he just said. I don't know. You okay? In some places, moon dust is 50 feet deep. That's a lot of dust. Their helmets just reappeared. Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> what the heck? You know what the moon reminds me of? Pizza? No, I think of Phoebe, the Greek goddess of the moon. She's a hunter. Now that 
That's takeout. <laughs> I love the pun. Okay. One of the best puns in the game. That's the earth. Uh, <laughs> okay then. That was great. Four. <laughs> good job. That's the eighteen. All right. So this I is think we're good this is the best part of the game and the main reason why you play it. Every single planet you can or moon you can go to, you can click on this satellite here and once it loads. I get so away. It's this nice little side scrolling section. God, it's slow. I forgot. You know what's it? You want to quit for now? Try again later. You have oxygen in yep. the corner. Yeah, you can't run out of air. And each of the different areas has different gravity. So the moon has the lowest gravity, so you can jump insanely high. Which is very nice. Uh, pretty sure it's to the right. I was right, baby. Well, yeah. The arrows are pointing that way. There's the frizz coin. Then you just go up. This one's like the easiest stage by far. Yeah. Uh, because you're done. <laughs> yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah! It's a good tutorial stage. Oh, can we not do it more than once? Um, you can do it again if you come back, I think? Maybe if you use the coin it gives you. you yeah. Can... Oh, that means that you... Okay, I was wondering if you could just softlock yourself if you blatantly used all the coins on no, the same planet. I think okay. It, I think it really... So if we can go and get the first hint you. from the frizz... What the hint? Well, how does how does Miss Frizzle have gold coins with her face on them? Uh, she's like an immortal, basically. <laughs> she she's lived across like all of time, so I feel like she at some point commissioned them to be made. Fair enough. I'm standing near the longest known canyon in the whole solar system. If it was on Earth, it would stretch from New York to Los Angeles. Oh, wow! Okay. Okay, well that narrows it down a bit, but none That's, of the gas planets. Nope, sure isn't. All right, so yeah, if we go. Therefore, let's go to a gas planet after this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can kind of vote on where to go next. So can we play the moon again? Oh, we can. All right. You want to play it? Well, Marty didn't show off like half the levels. So. What do you mean? I mean, you didn't show off There's, like half like, of the levels. Else. If you hold the space bar, you do the somersault, and if you release it, you... yeah, it can help for landing on stuff. Like, you never went over to this screen. Oh, I didn't know that was over here. That's why. <laughs> when it said go up, I went up. I never went the other way. Well, fine. I'm gonna Artie's, get a better score Artie's than you. gonna be a completionist then. I didn't know it existed. I thought that was the only one. Also, this game has no right to have music this good. Yeah, I, I know. I made a video on my channel, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Uh, it's a good soundtrack, though. Legit. Uh, oh, too slow. No. Oh, bird. Oh, big bird. I think you're going really inefficiently for this level. <laughs> yeah, I had more oxygen at the end. Also, you didn't go over here. What? There's a spot over here? It's a square. Where are you? What? I didn't know that was up there. Okay, if you can go to the left or right below, you can go that direction above as well. Oh, well, I'm going to learn a lot today. Yeah, so there's probably a whole bunch of levels that you haven't even gone to. Well, I've gone to all of them. I just haven't been <laughs> This pro This anymore. might explain why you were never able to beat Uranus. Yeah. I've never beaten that one. Not that oh, it matters. All right, where, where should we go next? Um, you want to do one. I want, well, we're going to do them all. Why don't you do... Why don't we if go we want to go in difficulty order, I think the next one we should go to would be, like, Mercury. Sure. Let's do it. Let's go. We're going to Mercury. Isn't that, like, the god of... Frick, is that the god of wine? I don't remember. I don't remember which god. There's one god. The Greek. We... That doesn't look like Mercury. Mmm, cheese. Oh, we have a whole thing for this one. We don't get that for going back to Earth. Nope. Yeah, you missed out on pulling the go levers. I would always be fast and beat the <laughs> Gotta game. Gotta go fast. I, I wonder what the speed run. run for this. Oh. Speed run, you go to the easiest planet 
put in the coin that immediately is the first finder and hope she's there. <laughs> that would be true. Well. Through the ongoing space station construction. Oh, and you'll love this one. Some yokel has left their stalled spacecraft right in the middle of downtown Venus. And that'll be about a four-year delay for you interplanetary travelers. That's Traffic After the Light Year, sponsored by Medicated Launch... All right, then. Cool. Let's go outside. On to Mercury. Off to Mercury. This is the smallest level in the game. It's only three screens, I think. All right, we got Keisha, Wanda, and Arnold. Hey, Keisha, what's up? Hey, yo. Gosh, it's hot. Why does Mercury have to be the planet closest to the sun? Yeah, we can't win on this planet. We're frying on this side, and we'd be freezing on the other. Yes, because Mercury don't really have an atmosphere. And they're off! Mercury's first! The fastest planet in the solar system, circling the sun at more than 100,000 miles an hour! It's Venus second, and Earth third! Go Earth! I like life in the slow lane. <laughs> Me too, yeah. Arnold. Me too. Has anyone seen a telephone? Post office? Some place where I can read my email or pick up a fax? Arnold, are you expecting a message? Well, Mercury is named for the messenger of the gods, oh. and I think I might be getting something from home. Arnold, get a clue. You're not a god. You're just Arnold. I like how oh. they said a fax or an email. Email is still widely used. Fax, not so much. Fax is occasionally used. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was so worth clicking on. Um, um, what? <laughs> there he goes. He's doing his own side scrolling game. That, that was something. All right. Go for it, Artie. Let's go, Mercury. With one of the funkiest songs in the yeah. game. Yeah. So I gravity here is a lot. Uh, higher than it is on the moon, Not but, it's, but you still can go pretty doggone high. This is a special power up the jump boots, which let you jump higher. Which is very much needed on some of these levels. Oh, ha -ha. nice. Oh, this is a really short level. Yeah. If you fall into the craters, then you will uh, lose a bunch of air and have to respawn, but. Nice. Easy, easy. That was super fast. It took more time to click on the things on the Mercury yeah. than actually do the level. So I think Frizzle is hiding on Mars, but let's get some more clues. Red dust. Ooh, red dust everywhere. Yeah. The dust even turns the thin atmosphere a pretty pink. Yeah. That's definitely Mars. It's either going to be Mars or Venus. No, Venus is a gas. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Jupiter Beyond are the Where gas planets. Where shall we go? I think we uh, should Mars, is Mars the for next. Oh. oh, you think we should save it for last? I that way we go there, we do it, and then that we, makes sense. And then actually, we finish off. That's okay. my idea. Also, uh, Mars is one of the better ones. So that's true. Mars is my favorite. How about we go to Saturn? I kind of want to do that. You want to go to Saturn? Yeah. All right. I'll that hand is, you the keyboard. Yeah, that is my favorite uh, planet. Not not, not the in level, this, but, but like that's like my. I dressed up as Saturn. Oh yeah, we're going to its moon. Well, yeah. Because Saturn is a gas planet, you can't stand on it. So that's all of the gas planets, you stand on one of the moons. And that's usually one of the level is on one of the moons. So I can't remember Saturn's moons. I just remember Jupiter's. Oh yeah, Jupiter has like a ridiculous number. Saturn's got quite a few though. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's a cool visual. It's the moon with Saturn pretty. behind it. So here we have Janet, Tim, Phoebe, and Arnold. Well, the light, it just got brighter, it too. It did. A rap by Janet. Oh, yes. DJ Jazzy Janet. Yeah, boy. Janet, my name. Just call me your highness. I'm here to tell you about the moon called Minus. Minus, your highness. Minus got a crater a third of its size. Not something you'd order with a side fries. This isn't a rap. Just shut your crying, shut your fuss, cause I'm the match rapper of the match school class. 
That is one of the best raps I've True. ever heard. Also, anytime Janet talks, her hair gets magically frizzier, which is great. It's good. From here, Saturn's rings look smooth and solid. But if you look closer, you can see that they're really made of dust and rocks and ice. Yeah. Also, when we were flying in, was it using the actual sounds they've captured that the planets make? Maybe? I mean, I have no clue, but... There, there's a video where it's like... It's, they somehow picked up, like, the natural sounds that each planet makes. I and am s- guessing that's been more recent, though, than, like, I thought it was, yeah. So, like, the sun, it just sounds like fire, pretty much. Yeah. And But, like, some of, like, Jupiter sounds creepy. Mm-hmm. Sounds like something out of, like, an alien horror movie. And it sounded like they were using Saturn's natural noise, so mm-hmm. I'll have to compare that. Did you know that Saturn's made of stuff that's lighter than water? Yes, Phoebe. That means it could float if you found a big enough bathtub. Yeah, but it would leave a rain. Give it another rain. That sounds cool. A poem by Arnold. <clears throat> okay. There once was a moon we called Minus, with craters that said, come and climb us. Climb us, climb us! With mountains so high, they reached to the sky, and no creepy aliens to slime us. <laughs> That was beautiful, Arnold. That was that was a poem. Um, um Yeah I didn't know that happened. <laughs> Giant record player. That's what Saturn is, kids. Yep, exactly. Alright, you ready to go to Saturn? Yeah. I love the music on this planet. So there's ice physics on this one, so... That's why I took it, because I know you Also, uh... Um... Platforming isn't always the best. (laughs) Sorry. Do we have infinite lives? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, the gravity on this level is pretty high, so... You you can barely jump. Boom, boo doo boo doo Okay, that blue power up is the best. Yeah, it's, it's a jetpack. Good jetpack. Uh, I guess I want first this the, one. The jumpy boots. Now oh, you can jump slightly higher. So you can hold up to use the jetpack, but if you use the jetpack, it depletes your air really quickly. Which sucks. Still, you're gonna have to use the jetpack on this level. So this room, I, this level, I think, is only four rooms. You can also do a trick where if you kind of like tap up, you can hover, and it'll not deplete your air nearly as fast. We will have to use that in another level. Watch your air, Marty. Oh, shoot. Okay. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, you really want the star? I thought it was going to move faster. Okay. There's the coin. This is, not, this is not the last time we'll be seeing the jetpack either. There we go. Good job. Yeah. That was good. It was yellower than I remembered. Oh, yeah. It has I a yellow background. I remember being orange more. That's... Oh, my gosh. Well, I've learned something today, boys and girls. time melody. I love the old time harmony. So, Mr. Piano Man, please. Just those keys. That's really oh, good. That. Okay. <laughs> that was like the that sound kind of slapped. <laughs> the beginning part. That's that must be stock uh, music because that's music's also used in Webkins. <laughs> Not that part. The thing at the beginning. Uh, Wait. The. Just that. That's part. That's just that's, a, that's the stock jingle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. Webkins has nothing original. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> This planet is the fourth from the sun. So hear me out. Thanks, we hit Frizzle. the frizz button and we see what happens. Try listening to the clues again and make another guess. Okay, Thank, thanks, bye. Fr- thanks, Frizzle. I appreciate it. Thanks for hiding from us. <laughs> I forgot about this one. What are these, the Beach Boys? The outer beach boys. Interesting. Oh, 
interesting. There's a lot of radio stuff you can get. Okay, so you picked Saturn. Um, let's go to Uranus. That's the quick warp option. Yeah. But now we actually have to take the trip for real because you know. I like the quick. I didn't know. Yeah. Again, it if had you're the... if you're speed running it, then you want to do the quick quick. I wonder if this has an active speed running community. Probably not. It probably doesn't, which means you can be the one to start it. This means it's technically a world record attempt. <laughs> Is it? No. I, if every let's play would then be. Is this this can't actually be footage of the planets. Mm -mm. That looks like 3D rendered. Why, like, yeah. Like in CGI, which is still pretty cool. That's cool. Oh, yeah, this is the one that's sideways. Yeah, you did not. I forgot about it. Yeah. Yeah. If only the level is like, oh, you have to walk Ooh, up. Ooh, that would be kind of funny. That would be really dumb. Yeah, they're all hanging loose. Hey, Carlos. Summer on Uranus can last 21 years. Just think. If you were born at the beginning of summer, you'd never have to go to school. An endless summer. And if you were born in winter, Carlos? <laughs> That's all of us in Michigan. Endless bummer. Pretty much. <laughs> Not quite that long, but... Miranda has the weirdest surface of any moon. It looks like this. <laughs> Thank you. This is what Miranda looks like. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Carmen Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this this game has top tier humor. Oh yeah. No, I were sideways. Well, no, but we're good. Her arm went anyway. crazy. <laughs> Savage, Carlos. Well, according to my <laughs> research, Uranus and its moons are unique. They rotate on their sides, not like Earth and all the other planets. Look. Thanks, DA. I, I'm so glad you brought that big library book all the way from from Earth. All right, time for Uranus. Yeah. With very funky music. You can get weight. Oh yeah! Don't pick up the weights. They make you jump lower. Which? Why would you ever want that? Okay. Well, there's nothing. I don't beep, care about the stars. Beep, beep, beep. These blocks you can push around. I want that jump. You definitely want the jump, yes. I will watch you beat this level because I just... It's a tricky level because you gotta jump on these really tiny platforms. And as I said, the platforming is not great in this. I just couldn't jump on anything. Alright, here we go. See, I would fall off that platform. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so let's let's wait for this one to come back. Dun, 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 dun. You just have to be patient. Hop See, on the platforms and then wait. I am not patient. So that doesn't help. Go for it. Oh. And jetpack. Oh, okay, well that, that helps. Also, if you do the tap button, yeah. the music slows down. Dun, 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 dun. I love that jingle. See, that was not even that hard. Okay, that's fair. I just, I couldn't land on platforms, so... Fair enough. Not good at platforming games, I guess? What? <laughs> what? Carmen Miranda. I guess so, yeah. What's the pencil? The pencil book. Oh, yeah, good question. Oh. I think this is the presentation on the planets. This is the Tilt and Match Science Experiment. Planets rotate at different speeds and different angles. Try to guess each planet's angle of rotation by matching it to the angle of the beach ball. To change uh. the tilt of the ball, click on the boot. To make the ball spin, just click on it. Then, try to make a match by clicking on a planet. I don't remember this. I don't either. Uh. Um, it really does not want me to pick Pluto. By the way, Pluto is a planet, no matter what yep. science says. Did the game uh. crash? Uh. It likes Who let the goose in here? Uh. Uh. 
<laughs> I don't think you're the real Santa. What do you have to say to that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. That that, that was that was, that was, that was uh, interesting. Let's go back to the back the to ship. the bus. I mean the bus, yeah, not a ship. Back to the <laughs> back to the USS Enterprise. <laughs> All right, Marty, where do you want to go next? Ooh, um, uh, I could finally conquer my issue with Pluto. Do you want to play Pluto, or do you want me to play Pluto? I'm good either way. I know you want Neptune. I do. I would like Neptune. You can play Venus Neptune. if you want. I'll take Venus, sure. That's with uh, Keisha. Uh, In my opinion, it's the I hardest it was a planet. DA. No, no DA, DA is Jupiter. Jupiter. Well, technically, yeah. We'll we'll get to that. Okay. Wait, this is the same footage. No, it's not. Oh, now it's not. They just take it directly from Mission Space. <laughs> you don't go to Venus in Mission Space. Oh, yeah, you go to Mars, my bad. Maybe the Mars stuff will be infinitely better. All right. Here we go. Turn on the radio. I'm new know it all with today's You've heard MSB that. update. Tension builds on the dark side of the moon You've as the great that. lunar cheese strike goes into its 16th day. Alien protesters are chanting, please, please don't buy moon cheese. Okay, there's Sources a way to skip this. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. And next thing that you know, you're seeing octopus. Octopus. All right. I can't believe you're seeing an octopus. They are rare. You don't just They're find freaky. them in the wild. They are freaky, like squid. Octopi are freakier than squid, I would say. All right, Carlos, what you got to say? Introducing the hardest working planet in the solar system. Sometimes during the year, she appears as the morning star, the last star you see in the morning. And sometimes she appears as the evening star, the first star you see at night. A very talented lady and a very close personal friend, here's Venus! <laughs> Carlos, I hope you went to work in Hollywood. You would make this a better I love place. Venus. All the craters are named after famous women, like Amelia Earhart and Florence Nightingale. I want a crater named after me. No, maybe two craters. Janet, you're not famous. <laughs> Asking you shall receive, Janet. Yeah. It says here that Venus is the brightest planet in the sky, but it's really cloudy down here. Well, from Earth, a Venus looks bright because the clouds block most of the sunlight and it reflects away. Thanks, Janet. It reflects away. <laughs> I love that part. They had to put the football reference in. Did you know that those clouds above us are actually sulfuric acid? A deadly poison? Yes. I learned this in Cowboy Bebop, Janet. Ow! And Ooh, I just love sulfuric acid. Okay, that's a weird one. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Eh, eh. Oh. Frizz, where are you? She just appears like, shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> She's at Mars. Occasionally you can click on her and then she'll just show up. That'd be funny. If uh, you get if you get the fourth clue, Fritz Frizz is just like, okay, I'm on Mars. Can you please just save me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to run out of oxygen. All right, well, we're about to experience uh -huh. the sulfuric acid clouds right up front. Here we go. Same music again. Slightly different from Mercury. Oh, this is the ew that I was joking about. Yeah, so you've got lava geysers and the clouds, both of which will suck your air supply away. Also, Keisha can barely jump. Which is why we're getting the jump. Cool. She didn't say ew at me, so I'm happy. Oh, there's the snowman. He's a power-up. Is he? He is. I don't think I've ever touched him. He gives you 100 points. <laughs> is she saying ew or ooh? I think ew. Got him. See, this one weirdly was easier to make because it's slower. It's slower, but your air supply drains so much quicker than on uh, Uranus. Yeah, that's fair. I think I got this, though. 
Also, the music gets very grating. Ah! I fell. That was a mistake. I definitely fell. There we go. Nice job, Marty. Yeah! I also Got usually him. fall into the lava geysers. <laughs> oh, I I did as a kid, but now I'm I'm well, a gamer. <laughs> just a true pro gamer. Marty made that look a lot easier than it actually is. That's one that I've practiced slightly. Alright. You should probably put one in so it's unlocked. Or do we want like a collection? No, we want all the frizzle coins. Okay. <laughs> you wanna go to Neptune? Sure. Neptune is my personal favorite planet. I think it's everyone's personal favorite. Oh, it has the close. best music in the game. It's got some I've added it to my music playlist. Oh. Or actually, no, I, I would if I could. What do you mean? Is it not on YouTube? I don't think so. Oh. Or it is, but it's like a 15 minute version. I can help you. It, I've found like one minute. <laughs> That's not enough. I'll make you a loop. <laughs> Thank you. And then you can, you can put it on your on your playlist. Yeah, it's so pretty too. Yeah, Venus or Neptune looks very pretty. I like the blueness of it. So of course we're just hanging out on one of its moons because again, gas planet. Yep. These ridges on Triton look really strange, don't they? Yeah, this whole moon looks like a big cantaloupe. Oh, Triton, if we can't elope, let us marry. <laughs> I just got Please that joke now. Care. <laughs> Did you just find he was being weird? Yes! <laughs> I had... Because I didn't know what elopement was as a little kid. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's great. Look at that great dark spot. It's not that big. Are you kidding? That spot's 6,000 miles long. It's a giant storm that moves as fast as 700 miles per hour. What do you mean? It's only ketchup from lunch. Ha ha ha! I love how Ralphie has ketchup on his shirt only on this planet. Yup. Ooh, rocks from Triton, Neptune's biggest moon. I've got to have some. <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me about the ice volcanoes? Because you immediately started mining before we could warn you about also, them. Also, that's very accurate to Janet for the episode where she's just like, I need, I need my it. stuff. <laughs> yep. Boy, are we a long way from home. Yeah, according to my research, if we'd gone the speed limit, it would have taken our bus 5,327 years to reach Neptune. And that's without a single bathroom break. That's less time than I would have thought. <laughs> yeah. Considering how big space is. Click on the Whoa. <laughs> What? <laughs> I do not remember oh, that. Oh, man. That might be the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be great. Okay. Neptune. This is an amazing planet. So you're all, not ready. You're not ready. The music is amazing. And also every other gas planet, you're on one of the moons. Not Neptune. We're going into the gas planet itself. <laughs> that would be Janet, though. She would do that. Why is this music so freaking good? And uh, you're like, oh, there's oh, the yeah. coin. No, we can't get it. <laughs> Oh, we keep falling more and more and more. Because at the very bottom, we got a jetpack. And then you don't hear and the music. Well, no, you can if you don't tap the button. But you kind of need to tap the button. I recommend getting a boost off of the balloons to preserve your air supply. Especially if, if like me, you accidentally picked up the air tank on the way down. Yep. This is a tough level, but it's great. Uh, oh no! The jump took out all my the rest of my air. <laughs> okay, don't run into the air tank on the way down. I'll try not to, but it was it's right in the way. Now you can go down, I think. Why is there an air tank at the very like you're gonna have max air pretty much at the bottom? Yeah, it's, like, this music is so freaking good. I feel like it's something you hear in a Sonic game. It's not fast-paced enough for a Sonic game. A 2D Sonic game. Like, like... Neptune Act 1. Yeah. Oh, imagine if they made two acts. That would have been so nice. Yeah. 
Here we go! We made it. Frizzle coin! I do like, though, how they're just like, <laughs> platforms? What are those? That's that's such a cool idea for the level, though. Like, the frizz coin is right at the start, but you can't get it. You have to get the jetpack. Yeah. It, it's great. But... The highlight of the game for me. <laughs> Maybe. Well, Mar Mars, Mars is, is also... also really good. Okay. Shall I so we got... What do we have left? We have Jupiter, Pluto, and Mars. You're doing Mars. Well, we can both do Mars if necessary. That's true. So, do you um, want to do Pluto or Jupiter? Both of them are hard. Yes, they both suck. I, I've i definitely beaten Jupiter before, but I don't think I've beaten Pluto. So you let's wanna... try Pluto. All right. The last planet. Yes, planet. <laughs> yes. People are like, it's a dwarf planet. I'm like, so a planet. It has planet in the word. <laughs> so a planet. That'd be, yeah. The, the reason why I always consider Pluto a planet is because they blatantly change the rules of the, what a planet is just to exclude Pluto. Which is stupid. How dare you bully Pluto? The, the scientists actually played this game and were like, Pluto's a hard planet. <laughs> Let's make it not a planet anymore so they have to remove it from the game. <laughs> They're like, we couldn't beat the level. Ooh, are we going to get the hillbilly song? The. And now Andromeda with the hillbilly song. I'm not joking. It's all the same. No, I want a new song. Here we go. <laughs> this would be Pluto. <laughs> Pluto's the middle of nowhere. You know that's kind of where like the country pick music would be. I told you. That's hilarious. <laughs> Let's get the rest of the theme song. That's the first part of the theme song. <laughs> we only want to play the we beginning. We only want to cruise down Come Main on. Street. All of them three times in a row. <laughs> okay, we already heard that one. We already heard. We already heard Blink 182 or whatever it was. There are two other songs we haven't heard yet. And now Both of which are parts of the Magic School of Speed song. I am not lying about this. I loved playing that one though. Let me show. <laughs> yeah. I swear there is more! Was that song called Lucky Shaman? No, it was called Shot in the Dark. Like, and you're too late? You give love a bad name? Sure. <laughs> the hillbillies are like, you want more? There we go. Take a left at your intestine and take your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. We also can put down stickers. Put them. Put the moon sticker on Pluto. <laughs> Pluto! <laughs> <laughs> I remember the rockets. Put this over the quit sign so we can't quit. <laughs> okay, I guess we can't quit the game. <laughs> we play forever. Um. Oh, oh, yes, this has this, this has one of my favorite parts of the game. This has one of your favorite Here parts. I am, all alone on Pluto, the last planet in the solar system. Nothing but empty space, all the way to the next star. Why, Arnold, you look all shook up. Yeah. I love that jingle. It's good. The Earth is a bowling ball. And we're living in it. Uh... I did not click on a lot of things in Pluto, apparently. All right, let's conquer Pluto. Oh boy, Pluto. gotta conquer my childhood. I think this has the exact same music that Jupiter has. Let's try it. You can jump pretty high on this level, but- Whoa, 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 what? It, it slid me off. Well, it's ice physics. Oh. Okay, I'll go back. Am I gonna run out of air? Well, you still got like 850, so... Hit the button! I hit the space bar! It didn't do anything! Bum, 
Jump up here. Wee! I'm gonna hopefully land. Yeah! Yeah, so you're gonna have to, like, when it's on the right side, jump to the right. <gasps> I hit it! Uh, how am I gonna get over? Well, you're gonna need a jetpack, which is farther to the right. Okay. I am not sure what the dun, green dun, boots dun, do. Dun, dun. No jetpack on this level, actually. Oh. But you have- you, you cannot- You to me! Run! <laughs> but now you can basically jump to infinity and beyond. Oh good, I have an air attack. You should now be able to use the super boost to jump to- Okay, yeah. Uh. So the physics are weird, so you basically you jump to the height and then constantly be pushing the left. Okay. I can do it. You gotta re push left after you go above the block. If okay. you're holding left below, then it won't move you anywhere. I'm doing it. And push. It's weird. You have to do it like when you're at the peak of your jump. There what? you go. That's kind of dumb. It is kind of dumb. Okay. Gotta. Push on! Uh, You're gonna have to jump from the platform below. Yeah. Land. Go, Arnold! Go, go! go Harari, bleh! Okay, I did get it. I was like, I'm about to fall through the platform. Okay, yeah. Pluto is tricky, but there's nothing that can really kill you on that level. Nothing's gonna kill you any, on any level. Stuff that can s sap your air, I would it's say. It's not like the, the weight tanks or anything, yeah. Okay. We have... We have got a lot of gold coins. We can we can invest in precious metals <laughs> and yes. diversify our portfolio. Uh, yes. So we have All Jupiter right, Jupiter. Do you want me to do Jupiter or do you want to do two in a row? If you want to do Jupiter, I'll do go it. for it. I doing, don't like Jupiter. You're doing Mars and Neptune, so I should do one more. Well, we already did Neptune. It is a storm. What do you mean? It's just ketchup for it's lunch. Just... <laughs> Oh man, what's your favorite planet, right? Like if you were to Earth. Well, okay, I guess that's, <laughs> a, that's a fair answer. Space is scary. The only kind of space I want is this game and Space Mountain. Because Space Mountain is cool. Space Mountain is cool. Everybody should go ride Space Mountain. No, don't give Disney money. <laughs> Not yeah. till they get their act together. We. Oh, oh lots right. Of hey, hey, Ralphie. Jupiter's named for the king of gods because it's the biggest planet. That's right, Ralphie. And Jupiter has at least sixteen moons. It's got more than that. The four that I know are Eo, uh, Titan, Ganymede, and um, Calypso. I knew Titan and Calypso. I didn't know the That's others. the great red spot. A hurricane as big as three Earths. It travels over Jupiter's surface, overtaking other storms in its way. Yeah. Here's what. Catch. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. Whoa. It says here that Jupiter is bigger than all the other planets put together. And that it's a huge, huge, human, really big ball of gas. Well, mostly gas. Just like the sun. And if it had been bigger, it could have been a star. Yeah, it's a big boy. It's a Pio's big boy. Ohio's great. Look at all those volcanoes. It's technically past Ohio. I thought, I thought, I thought he said Ohio's Earth great. And, <laughs> and then I was about to be like, um. <laughs> Hold about up. that. <laughs> Hold up. Sorry if you're from Ohio and watching this, but we respectfully don't like... Ohio. There's not much there. That's there's, the there's Cedar Point. And it's there's, barely and there's Ohio. Kalahari, Ka Kalahari uh, Water Park. And it has a Raising Kings. And it has Chewies. It does? Yeah. Not Chewbacca, but it's the Tex-Mex chain. Alright, you guys Probably ready the, for... Yeah. It's not Jupiter, it's EO. 
Wee. And it has the strongest gravity out of any of the plants. Oh, it has the same music. Yeah, it does. Look at how bad that break. jump is. That is so Even bad. with the jump boots, you'll barely go any higher. Gotta jump. D Dorothy Ann is really fat. That's the real reason. That's not... No, her brain is so big from absorbing all the info. Sure. Yeah, it's like, oh, now you now you can jump like you were on Earth. Wee. Uh, yeah. I, can't, I think maybe the snowman makes an appearance on this what? level as well. Yeah, yeah, there he is. I still don't know what he did. He gave he me... gave you a hundred points. Well, that's fair. We oh, that was an energy tank, wasn't it? An air tank, but you had basically full air. We. You're not grabbing the snowman. No, I don't need him. But he needs you. Oh, another jump boots. Now you'll be able I to jump, jump like it's Saturn. <laughs> Can I not? Oh my gosh. No, this is almost terrible. <laughs> I don't remember this part. Wee! Jump over the crater. Da, da, da. Get back here. No. Where am I no. going to after that? Uh, you're gonna need to jump over the geyser. Oh. You... Good job, I hit Marty. the jump button! Jeez. Oh no, he's gonna make me restart, isn't he? Yep. Liz, why? Well, uh, well, Liz saved you from a horrible fiery death. Okay, I hit the jump button. And you're just like, Liz, button. really? No, I hit the jump button. It should have registered it. That's why I'm sad. Now I can slightly jump. Now I can jump about as much as real life Marty can. Yeah. No, actually, no, that's a lie. Can you do that many front flips in a row? I hit the jump button! You didn't hit the jump button until you were off the platform. It's very picky. You gotta hit the jump button before you reach the end of the platform. Okay. This time you better grab the snowman for good luck. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. I love how the stars have really dumb there. faces. Like, <laughs> yeah. They're like, you're so stupid, you fell off. There, I got the snowman. There Are you, you happy? Go. I am very happy. How do I get out? Uh, you're gonna have to jump over the volcano on the right. Ew. <laughs> if it had gone up, you would have gone in. All of the characters have the same sound effect for that. Wait, do I have the boots? I guess I grab. You grab them. I'm not sure if two pairs of boots actually make you jump higher. Yeah. On, DA. I'm not sure if EO actually has lava on it, Just since it's because... so far away from the sun. Okay, there you go. You barely made that jump, DA. <laughs> I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Jump and then move. There Good we go. Job. There we go. Jupiter's moon. Thanks, EO. <laughs> Can we hear the end of the theme song? No, I want to hear So Strap Your Bones Right to the Sea. <laughs> He's like, but surfing on a sound wave. It's <laughs> everything but the end. <laughs> Did I say cruising on down Main Street? Dude, this is like, okay. <laughs> Universal Orlando. Universal Orlando. Whenever we go there, it always plays that. It always plays that Mardi Gras song that's like, oh, Because we always go around Mardi Gras. But I always have I thought that you were going to say it always plays the same 10 minute calm loop. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh my gosh. That was an Alex Adventure. The Kong music, we we went on a walk because we were waiting for my boyfriend and our other brother to go on Velocicoaster. And we were like, oh, let's go on a walk! And we walked past Kong twice, and it was playing the exact same spot of the song. Yep. Oh. Uh, there we go. I'm imagining, like, Carlos is at the front of the bus, like, no, we can't go out yet! Well, we listen to our theme song again. Yeah. All right, Mars. 
Yes. The bringer of war. Or the bringer of something. The bringer of really that's the, great music. That's the classical piece, I think. They had like a bunch of like Jupiter, bringer of war, Mars, the bringer of something. More war. <laughs> More war. They're like really good classical pieces. If you're into that, look them up. I like classical. Is that thunder? Thumbs up if by the time you're watching this, we are living on Mars. Thumbs up if... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got an internet connection to... Oh, dude, imagine if somebody is living on Mars and watches this video. How meta would that be? They'd be like, oh my gosh, this doesn't even look accurate. <laughs> this is or they'd be the, like... the scientist's interpretation of what Mars might look like based on 1990s scientific... And they hear my comment, they're like, didn't Cowboy Bebop come out like 50 plus years ago? And I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some great dialogue here as well. Phobus and Demas are the moons of Mars. Their names mean fear and panic. True. That's what anxiety sounds like. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the certainly. They should be around here someplace. Yes. Oh, Ralphie, get real. Everybody knows Mars can't support life. Everyone on Mars now. You sure about that? I don't know. Oh, he looks so sad no one's noticing him. Oh, this this is actually my favorite. You know, Mars is supposed to have a volcano that's three times as high as Mount Everest. And as big around its base as the whole state of Missouri. That's on the other side of the planet. Poor mountain of Missouri. <laughs> it's called Olympus Mons. It's a great one. I, uh, I love that. Oh. Sound effect. oh, wow. Another Martian with slime feet. Yeah. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Good job. Okay. Guess you gotta go to Mars. Are you guys ready for the best intro? Not just the whole song, just the best intro ever. Mm hmm. And, you, and that uh, Raffy? <laughs> said Raffy. This isn't this isn't Baby Beluga. In the deep blue sea. All right, we actually are gonna have to push the boxes this time. Why are there boxes on Mars that have the magic school bus insignia on them? Thumbs up if you're moving on Mars with boxes with the magic school bus insignia. <laughs> <laughs> really. Just please give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, but, oh my gosh. Uh. Leave a dislike if you want YouTube to bring back the dislikes. That would be really funny, actually. Just, like, comment, like, dislike. <laughs> oh, he also has a jetpack. He does. I, don't know I think you can buy, beat the level without the jetpack, though. Yeah, you definitely can. This is just one of the earlier ones, so they were like, oh, let's put a jetpack on for the kids. Oh, there's weight that you can put on? There is weight. You can become really fat. Oh. 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 I'm going for the max score, baby. Oh, see, I don't know where everything is. Oh, we can't go left there. No, you can't. See? That's so weird. They blocked it out. You're running low on air. Apparently, we can't go up either. Yeah. Oh. Well. Well. No, I better gonna be safe. You better. Oh my gosh, I even Yeah, well, I told you, you were low on- Oh my god. Ralphie's like, I don't need to breathe, I just wanna ride this cool <laughs> jetpack! <laughs> True story. Alright, let's find the frizz. The frizz is actually on Olympus Mons. So you should have flown in on the other side of the planet. Let's see. Oh man, she got designer pom poms on Mars. She she is moving like an animatronic at Disney. <laughs> like her legs are separate from the. Hey, the animation might be a little primitive, but it's still great. No, it is. Wasn't that an adventure class? Let's go back to the classroom and explore some more. Everyone write an essay on the planet side scoring level that they did. <laughs> Pluto was really Wanda, hard. mine was over in 30 seconds, so I don't Phoebe, really remember. Mine was done in 20 seconds. 
Thanks, Miss Frizzle. Swear, You're a real one. I swear you could have gone back to Earth and just not had her with you. I think you can, but then you just have to start over if you go out again. No, I, I feel like I've... If you do the fast travel, I think you might be able to do it without her there. <laughs> speed run. Uh, speed run. <laughs> I bet you could beat this game in like two minutes. You could if you if, if you, you pick if Miss Frizzle spawned on the quickest planet. If Miss Frizzle spawned on the moon and you do the moon, that would probably be the fastest one. Then you just get her. That or Mercury. Her. Mercury's really fast as well. So yeah. Well, that was fun. Thanks for watching, that everybody. Was good. This is a great game from our childhoods, and I'm happy we finally got to play it. And this it was finally worked. this was yet another game that we tried to do for April Fool's Day that one year, and it didn't oh work. Oh my so, gosh! I'm so happy we got it to work. We got though. it done. Yay! So thanks for joining in, Marty, and thank you all for watching uh, from Mars. Even that was that was really yeah, cool. That you was, tuned in from Mars. Thank you, so guys. yeah, look forward to more let's plays in the future. Although by the time we have colonies on Mars, I probably won't be making it. I, I prefer to be optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.